try to speak some uh, Cantonese to, to, to make greetings to all the audience of Figure Talk, uh, of Star TV. Star TV, <laughs> Toys TV. Yeah, I, work, I, I have been working in Star TV for many years, but not, this is not Star TV, it's Toys TV. Okay, my name is Brian No, uh, Figure Talk episode 61. Um, I'm just thinking about uh, what is the brand name of this figure. Uh, I guess it's Free Arrow, Free Arrow, Sam Arrow, Free Arrow. Uh, actually, uh, many many diehard fans should know that uh, this is belongs to another company. But anyway, I, I don't try to explain here what is the relationship, and why there's a free arrow and, and another brand. All right, this time is the Japanese uh, Imperial officers in World War Two. Uh, all the, all you guys for World War Two collectors, you should very very familiar with this kind of Japanese Imperial officers. Uh, this is a typical one and. But, but that time they have some new accessories and we would mention about this and uh, at the same time the Hasrop this time actually actually I I, 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 t I tell you but don't tell anybody else uh, this is belongs to a likeliest of um, famous Japanese actors a uh, movie actors or TV actors in Japan yeah all those Japanese audience might know that anyway we find that this figures are selling really well in Japan. Yeah, for sure. This is because it's, this is their armies in World War II area. Anyway, this is not the time to, to talk about po political factors, uh, environment, war. No, no, we are not encourage war and any any racism and any fascism. No, but we are just uh, doing some figures. This belongs to that era, World War II era, and this is belongs to Japanese Imperial Army. That's all. So, please, please, please. Cameraman, we're going to see some close up of these figures. Okay, first of all, the hand scrub. This is look really unlike a Japanese movie actors. Yeah, you guys should know that. I don't want to spend time here. And uh, I think they did really well with the officer cap. Really well. Really well made. And you can see all the details. I think this is another upgrade version from this company about the Japanese Imperial officers. Yeah, I guess the, this is also leather. This this grip on the cap. And uh, this is a typical, you know, Japanese army uh, in more time, you know. Everybody else want to be quick, efficient and clean. So that's why they shave the hair, shave all the hair. And this is the skin look. Yeah, looks very cool. And uh, this is not nice. German, you know, all German they shaft every day, as I know, so they look very clean and tidy. But Japanese, American, they have no a strict rule to shaft every day. So you seldom see German soldiers have a lot of beard growing. Anyway, we are going. This has got you know looks really cool. I, I don't, yeah. And we go to the uniform. This uniform is uh, like a like a summertime uniform. But I guess this is the army army uniform you know because it's a dark brown or, or green this this color is uh, you know a typical color of you know most of the army uniform and uh, there is a sword okay this is a samurai sword and uh, every officer I mean this is the specific uh, 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 symbols of uh, the Japanese army officers only the army officers can can use a uh, sword okay uh, but actually in the wartime this sword is still very very useful and a lethal weapons when they uh, make close combat okay it's metal the brake is metal and uh, really well done you know uh, this company is famous in making samurai figures and uh, a very good telescope is this telescope? Um, I forgot the name. Binos, binocular, binocular, sorry, binocular. Very good binocular. And uh, some leather made, leather made pouch of a uh, pistol, the pistol leather pouch. And um, also a weld made leather boot. I have to emphasize again, uh, they start to use real leather for all 1-6 scale boot. So the problem of you know the the pleader brokening or, or, or not durable, this problem has been solved. Okay, 
And uh, so we go to another very specific, specific accessory. Uh, uh, okay. This is a uh, you know imperial. I think it's Japanese, not 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 army flag. Anyway, it's a national flag. But this is very funny. Not funny, but a typical, typical hand hand badge, hand badge for when they do close combat or final combat. Okay, and two leather pouch, and two leather pouch. This is a binocular pouch, and this is the map case. It's all leathers. Yeah, I think it's workable and open. Can be opened. I, I don't open it here. Okay. And this is one of the funny or interesting accessories, you know. Uh, or Asian type of a Chinese or Japanese type of fan. Actually, this is made by paper in real time, in real life. But this one is not real paper. It's uh, plastic. It's plastic. So cannot be folded. And uh, metal, metal helmet, as usual from Friao and uh, a lot of uh, spare button spare army insigners badges and uh, watch watch okay uh, identity badge identity badge oh lots of stuff oh I don't know what is it Okay, and this one, really funny. I think it's a book. Oh, not a book. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's like an instruction book for the armies. Okay, for daily, daily instruction. Okay, uh. and this, I really don't know what is it for, but this is some kind of, uh, you know. It's not not Japanese words. It's Chinese words uh, for the military or army for encouraging the soldier to fight more bravely. Not sure, but this one, this red, I have to show you. Very. Oh, Mo Wan Chang Gao. That means uh, they have good. They will be good luck for the military battle, something like that. And lots of you know words, uh, both Japanese and Chinese. Nothing. Okay. So this this figure, officer's figure. I think uh, some of the places regions already sold out. Uh, I think this is uh, worth to keep one if you like World War Two era figures collecting, etc., etc. So uh, that's all for this episode sixty one figure talk. My name is Rhino. If you like the video, um, please no. If you don't like, please like my video. Please share the video to your audience, to your fellow collectors, uh, and watch. TV and thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.